Hey y'all, welcome to Clagbait. Now as promised, I wanted to follow up my Mammoth 75 review with the second build option. If you missed my Mammoth 75 review, it will be linked in the description down below. But to summarize, the Mammoth 75 has two different build options. The first is a stack mount where it rests on the PCB foam at the bottom with no gaskets installed. And the second is a more traditional gasket mount option with both top and bottom gaskets installed and removing the PCB foam and keeping the plate foam. Now, right off the bat, I gotta say, I was wrong in my first review. Not my fault, but since I only built the Mammoth in configuration one, I was under the impression that it's not a very flexible keyboard. It still was a really soft and nice typing experience in the recommended configuration. However, after building this with the second configuration, I gotta say, this board has some major flex. Not only does it have flex, it also feels really good to type on. There's not a lot of vibrations, and I can see myself typing on this for long hours. The sound also comes to life and adds a bit more character to this keyboard once you go with configuration two. I did change to banana splits and I left in the PE foam. So overall, I'm glad Wuche Studio has given two different options to build this board. One for those who love a nice soft typing experience and one for those who prefer a little bit more aggressive flex. You can also go with a stiffer typing experience if you purchase a brass plate. Now overall, I already was in love with this keyboard in the first configuration. However, after changing out to option two, I can say that this is probably my favorite 75% keyboard that I own, both from a design and typing experience aspect. Now those two things are highly subjective, but I wanted to share my thoughts with you regardless. So let me show you real quick how to do this, and we'll do a quick typing test and a flex test in configuration two. But before we start, if you're enjoying my content, please consider subscribing to my channel. I also have affiliate links for this group buy for both USA and international down below. Using those will help my little channel out, so I'd really appreciate it. All right, let's get to it. So as you can see, it's pretty easy to get configuration two going on this keyboard. Now this is configuration one flex. So as you can see, it does have a good moderate amount of flex to it. In fact, I think a lot of people are gonna love configuration one the way it is, and they're not even gonna want to mess with configuration two. But I like a little bit more flex, so I went for it. Now here's what flex is like on configuration two and a sound test. All right, and by your request and for your satisfaction, I leave you with this. <laughs> 